Enter the eerie domain of Lumen Spiritus, where the veil between worlds is thin and the whispers of the occult echo through the darkness. Brace yourself for an odyssey into the depths of the unknown, where enlightenment and terror intertwine. In this video, we unravel the secrets of enchantment, unveiling the mystical process of crafting charms, witness the fusion of intention, symbolism and craftsmanship as we explore the magical artistry behind creating potent and captivating charms. Support our channel's growth and future content by donating today. Every contribution, no matter how small, helps us bring you even more captivating videos. Plus, in the description below, you'll find additional insights and our top 10 videos from Lumen Spiritus for further exploration. Have you ever pondered the mystical art of enchantment? This is a question that has intrigued mankind for millennia, as we've sought to understand the world and our place within it. Enchantment, the art of infusing ordinary objects with magical intent, has deep roots in cultures across the globe. It's a practice that transcends time, a testament to our enduring fascination with the unseen and the unexplained. At the heart of enchantment lies the humble charm. These are not mere trinkets or baubles, but potent symbols of our hopes, our fears, our dreams. They are vessels for our will, tools through which we seek to shape our reality. From the talismans of ancient Egypt to the amulets of medieval Europe, charms have played a pivotal role in the story of enchantment. As we delve deeper into this ancient art, we shall unravel the secrets of creating charms. Prepare to embark on a journey into the enigmatic realm of enchantment. The creation of charms is a practice steeped in mystery and tradition. Now let's journey back to the sands of ancient Egypt and the Emerald Isles of Ireland to uncover the craft of charm creation. Picture, if you will, an Egyptian artisan meticulously carving the symbol of the Ankh into a piece of lapis lazuli. This symbol, representing the concept of eternal life, was often used in charms to protect and guide the wearer in this life and beyond. The choice of lapis lazuli was not accidental. This vibrant blue stone was believed to possess celestial power, making it an ideal material for a charm meant to bridge the earthly and divine realms. Similarly, the Irish cladder ring, a charm of love, friendship and loyalty, is thoughtfully constructed. The two hands in the design symbolize friendship, the heart represents love, and the crown signifies loyalty. As for the material, these rings are often made of gold, a metal associated with the sun's energy and divine power, amplifying the charm's intent. Just as a painter selects their colors with intention, so too does the charm crafter choose their materials. Each stone, metal or other element used carries its own energy and symbolism. A charm made of silver associated with the moon might be used for protection or intuition. A charm incorporating garnets, stones of passion and vitality could be intended for courage or energy. Creating a charm isn't just about assembling materials. It's a deliberate, thoughtful process, blending ancient knowledge, symbolic understanding and personal intent. It involves carving, molding, imbuing, and sometimes even enchanting the charm with spells or incantations. This craftsmanship isn't merely a physical act, but a spiritual one. A dialogue between the crafter and the universe. A dance of energies. Each charm is a tiny cosmos. A map of intentions and desires. A testament to the crafter's vision and the wearer's journey. As we've seen, the crafting of charms is a delicate process. Deeply rooted in symbolism and tradition. So, the next time you see a charm, remember it's not just an accessory. It's a piece of history, a personal talisman, and a testament to humanity's enduring desire to connect with the world's hidden forces. In the realm of enchantment, belief is the most potent ingredient. In the intricate dance of creating charms, belief is not just a supporting player. No, it's the lead, the maestro, the driving force that propels the enchantment from mere concept into tangible reality. This is because our minds hold an extraordinary power, the power to shape and define our reality. Let's journey back in time to the Middle Ages, a period rife with superstitions and belief in the supernatural. The people of this era carried amulets and talismans, objects they believed protected them from harm and brought them good luck. Their belief in these charms was so strong, so unshakable, that they often attributed their survival during plagues and wars to these little objects. Fast forward to the 21st century, and we see the power of belief in action in a different form. Consider the placebo effect in modern medicine. 
Patients given sugar pills told they were receiving medication often experienced an improvement in their condition simply because they believed they were being treated. But what if you're not a believer? What if you view the world through a lens of logic and skepticism, dismissing such notions as mere superstition? Well, you're not alone. There are many who argue that the effectiveness of charms and enchantments is merely the result of confirmation bias, that we see what we want to see. Yet even among skeptics, we find instances where belief seeps in. Take the widely held superstition of knocking on wood to ward off bad luck. It's a ritual performed by believers and skeptics alike, often without a second thought. Does this not point to an inherent subconscious belief in the power of certain actions and objects to influence our fate? Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, the power of belief in the art of enchantment is undeniable. It's a force that transcends logic and reason, weaving its magic into our lives in ways we often don't fully comprehend. So the next time you find yourself reaching for that lucky charm, remember it's not just the object that holds power, it's your belief in it. But how do these charms fit into our modern world, you might wonder. Well, let's delve into the practical applications of charms in our contemporary society. From the ancient Egyptians to the modern-day spiritual seekers, humans have always sought to harness the power of the universe through charms and amulets. Consider the concept of lucky charms, not the cereal, but items like horseshoes, four-leaf clovers, or rabbit's feet. These are not just relics of a bygone era. They continue to hold a place in many people's lives, providing a sense of comfort and reassurance. They might not literally bring luck, but their symbolic value can offer a psychological boost, enhancing our confidence and positivity. Then there are protective amulets. You might have seen people wearing evil eye pendants or St. Christopher medals. These are not mere fashion statements. For many, they serve to ward off negative energy or ensure safe travels. Again, it's not necessarily about the physical object, but the belief and intent behind it. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Charms are used in various other ways, such as in healing rituals, love spells, or even financial prosperity. And that's what makes the world of charms so fascinating. The myriad ways they can be utilized, interpreted, and personalized. So, have you ever used a charm or amulet? What were your experiences? And what are your thoughts on their effectiveness? Your insights could illuminate this intriguing topic further. From ancient times to our modern world, the allure of charms continues to captivate us. The art of enchantment is a journey, not a destination. This journey, like any other, is filled with discovery, experimentation and growth. As we delve deeper into the mystical world of charms, we encourage you to not just learn, but to create. Craft your own charms, imbue them with your unique energy and see the magic unfold. Share your experiences, your triumphs and even your setbacks. As we conclude this exploration of enchantment, Remember that the real magic lies in the journey, not the destination. There is a plethora of fascinating and mind-bending topics coming to our channel. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to Lumen Spiritus for even more captivating mysteries. Additionally, consider supporting our channel by donating via the PayPal link below. Stay tuned for our next video.